Welcome everyone to part 12 of our Python basics tutorial. In this tutorial I will introduce you with Python global and local variables. We already had a short review about variables, but this was more about basics and overall types of them. So in this tutorial I will cover how to use global and local variables. So. All variables in program might not be accessible at all locations in that program. So this depends on where you have declared variable. The scope of a variable determines the portion of the program where you can access a particular identifier. There are two basic scopes of variables in Python. So it's global and local variables. So Variables that are defined uh, inside a function body have a local scope and those defined outside have a global scope. This means that local variables can be accessed only inside the function in which they are declared, whereas global variables can be accessed through the program body by all functions. When you call a function, the variables declared inside it are broke in a scope. I'll begin with a global and local ex example, variables example, so let's be given total equal to 5 and we define a new uh, sum function. It will be some argument 1 and argument 2 here and here equal total equal argument 1 plus argument 2 and later we just print inside the function local total and here total and return course total now we can call our some function let's add 17 for example plus 19 and here we check our global variable okay let's build it and as you can see inside the function local total is equal to 36 because here we declared a total to 5 and in a function we created a new variable total the same name and we returned its result here so this wasn't changed here we can't change our global variable in this function and we prove it by trying to print out our total in the, at the end of our example next i'll write another example where we declare a variable globally and we print it locally so x equal to 10 for example we define a new function example and we simply print here an x and we call our example we print uh, our global variable here and uh, next i can write another example so modify it a little bit so we can try to modify our global variable from from this function and here we should get an error as you can see and it doesn't allow us to modify it so there is a trick how we can uh, leave it so we simply write a global x we change our variable that it could be edited here and let's print it out let's test So, as you can see, it was changed from our function, and to change our global variable from a function, we need to declare it as global x. 
Other way to change a global variable is to change function to use and return argument. So it will be the same similar example, but here here we'll write x and simply return x and here we'll write the x equal to example built and as you can see it was changed here so in this tutorial we covered global and local variables and basics how to use them it was simpler than you thought wasn't it so that's all for this video i hope that this was useful for you if you have any questions be sure to leave them in comment section below this video if you liked my video smash up the likes button and subscribe my channel then you'll get more of my videos text version this tutorial and links are left in video subscription thank you all for watching good luck and see you in the next video